Hey there, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. That's right, I am live in my kitchen. I am here solo in my kitchen, but on the phone we have Jamie. Give it up for Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hey, Lisa. I, do I hear clapping coming from your house? Is Mike there clapping? <laughs> he probably is from the other room. <laughs> yes. I wonder, wait, do we think that Erin's going to be in the audience today? Because it's Josh's birthday. Today is her husband's birthday. So if it, I hope so. I mean, what could be a better birthday activity than watching me live in my kitchen making a frozen coffee drink? Truly. Anything? <laughs> Not likely. So wait, if Josh is out there, happy birthday. And everyone here that's here, wish Josh a happy birthday. And if you're not here, Josh, you're going to feel really guilty when you find out that this actually happened because they're all singing to you in your house. So happy birthday, Josh. Erin um, runs our kitchen. She's our kitchen manager, in case you don't know who the heck she is. But um, it's her husband's birthday. And he's the one that sometimes brings really great stuff from Walmart that he finds. And he brought us the Skittles drink mix. He's, like, really good about that stuff. Uh, so today I am here to make another frozen coffee drink. Do you like frozen coffee drinks? If you do, you should click like, click hearts, tell me you're here, interact, because as usual, I have prizes for you and you can win them just by being here and liking this or sharing this video. I see all the hearts coming up. Answering trivia, I have a bunch of banana related trivia questions. I know I just like let the cat out of the bag about what I was doing, um, but I'm gonna show you what you can win. You could win this going bananas over here. Isn't this cute? I love it. I made it. I signed it. And the reason why I was going bananas is because tonight I am making a banana caramel coffee freeze. And for those of you who paid attention today on Facebook, you know that. And you're probably thinking, now Lisa, why are you not wearing something that's banana colored or caramel colored? It is because I am unpredictable. Do you see my shirt? It says unpredictable. So even though I usually dress for the recipes, today I'm wearing blue because I am, what am I? Unpredictable. And if you can identify who this dude is on my shirt, that is one way you'll be eligible to win a prize. Jamie, do you know who that is? I don't. Oh, you must be really young. Who out there, who, do you know this guy? He's very famous. Do, if you're a cartoon fan, anyway. I would do an impersonation of him, but... I'm not going to. Happy birthday, Josh. People are wishing Josh a happy birthday. That's really cool. Here, by the way. Yay! Hooray! All right, so before I jump into the recipe, I do want to say, if you get the Hungry Girl Daily emails, mwah, good, good for you, you should. Today's email um, was all about my morning routine, but we did have a fantastic sponsor. I don't always single out the sponsors in my Facebook Lives, but I had to tell you about this. Again, this is totally like unprompted. I am just obsessed with this product right here. This is the, look at this, the Good Crisp Classic Original. I didn't want to get the flavor wrong because they make amazing potato chips in all kinds of flavors. They're non-GMO, no artificial colors or flavors. They have a cheddar flavor that's to die for, sour cream and onion, barbecue. These are the classic originals. Now, it looks like a Pringle, only it's like a healthy, more delicious Pringle. To me, when I eat Pringles, there's, it coats my tongue. These chips, when I first tried them, I almost passed out. And I'm gonna show you. Look at them in the can. They're like perfect little beautiful, aren't they pretty? They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous, and more importantly, they're delicious. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm not a big potato chip eater usually. I eat these almost every day. There's two servings in this can. Sometimes I make it one serving, but it's easy to just keep it two servings. Um, they're delicious, crunchy. I can't rave about these more. And the best news is 50% off right now. There's 50% off on their site, which is the Good Crisp. Hold on, it's the Good Crisp Company.com. If you go to their site, wait, it's pinned? Yeah. Jamie pinned this URL. It's the Good Crisp Company.com. 50% off with code HUNGRY for one full week until July 29th. I beg you to try these chips for 50% off because you're going to say, Lisa, I'm either going to be your favorite person or you're going to be like, I have to lock them up so I don't eat all of them at once because they are that delicious. <sighs> I'm going to eat these later or for breakfast. Okay, now that we have that settled, um, I can go into the freezy banana caramel situation that I have here today. I want to say people were like, could you do a coffee drink that 
that includes banana and I remember I always used to drink my iced coffee when I was like in college I would have iced coffee and a banana but I hadn't thought to put the two together probably I don't remember when the first time I did that is I don't know if we have any official recipes with coffee and bananas Jamie do we I don't know I know, I was thinking the same thing. And then when I was putting the ingredients that you need up earlier today, we talked about this ingredient and a lot of people said, what the heck is banana almond milk? So if you don't know what this ingredient is, please take a close look at this. Take a shot, take a picture, I'll smile. Okay, now if you have that, take that to the supermarket and um, look for this because this is made by Almond Breeze. As you know, I'm always using Almond Breeze. It's great. I usually use unsweetened vanilla. This is their banana Almond Breeze, which tastes so real. I don't like fake banana taste. Like I'm not a big fan of like banana taffy flavor. This is so natural and so good and it's made with real bananas. It's all natural. It has 80 calories a cup. We're only going to use half a cup tonight, but I have to say it is a key ingredient in the recipe. If you don't have this, I'm going to give you a little tip on what you can do to still make your coffee drink tonight and make it taste really good. Except you may not have the tip ingredient that I have either, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, wow, I feel like I'm saying a lot of words. So we are gonna start tonight with some coffee. I have uh, a tall glass. This is a, a worker glass. I get these online and I love them and I highly recommend them. We're gonna start with two teaspoons of instant coffee. You could use a packet of Via, the, like the unsweetened Via from Starbucks, which is great. But I also love this Taster's Choice Nescafe coffee so much that you could see like my gigantic coffee jar, plastic jar is really halfway gone. Probably from all these recipes I'm making. I'm gonna add one sweetener packet. My sweetener of choice tonight is a true Via, but if you have a swerve or whatever you have, is good, I support it. Next up, you know I've been using this a lot lately, it's a retro ingredient, a little bit goes a long way. This is my Coffee Mate sugar-free French vanilla powder. It is important to use the powder instead of the liquid because you get a lot more flavor and a lot more bang for your calorie buck. So I use this a lot in recipes and the key is you have to dissolve it and I'll show you how to do that in a minute too. So we're gonna use this smells so yummy. Two teaspoons of this sugar-free French vanilla coffee made powder. If you have this at home and you use it in an unconventional way, let me know. Like I will dissolve some of this in a little bit of warm water and use it in my oatmeal. It's just great. You can do so many things with it. I used to use a version of this, not the vanilla kind, but I would make my mashed potatoes a little creamier like when I was in college by putting a little bit of the powdered coffee creamer in a little bit of water. Anyway, so this is a fantastic ingredient that tastes great and will amp up the flavor in your coffee. Next up, we have xanthan gum. If you are home and you're like, I don't have xanthan gum, it's okay, but I think you should order it. It is the great texturizer for frozen drinks. It will thicken your drinks. It will make them more cohesive and more like the drinks that you get when you go out to the coffee shop and you only need a very little bit, so I use a quarter, a quarter teaspoon of that. This also works in a lot of other recipes because it's a really good stabilizer. So if you have anything where you wanna like make the texture a little bit more stable, a little thicker, xanthan gum, and you don't need to heat it, it just works, unlike cornstarch, which needs to be heated to be activated. Okay, so what do we have in here? We have the coffee, we have the coffee mate, we have the sweetener, and we've got the, what else? The xanthan gum, right here in this. And I'm gonna dissolve this in three ounces of warm water. We wanna dissolve it before we blend it. This is eventually going to be a frozen drink, I promise. All right, what's going out there on out there, Jamie? Anything? People know who that is on your shirt. They do? Do you think they're right? Do enough people have it together to know? I think so. Who is it? It is Quick Draw McGraw. Yes. What was his little friend's name? Gosh, they used to call him Quick Quick Straw. Quick Straw. Anyway, I'm dissolving this. You don't know who he is, James? Nope. What's Boy. he from? He's from his. He had his own show. What's he from? He was the star of his own show. He was from the Quick Draw McGraw show. <laughs> who is Baba Louie? Baba Lou. Wait. Yes, Baba Louie. So Baba Bowie from uh, Howard Stern was named after him. 
Did you wow. know that? Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Maybe I'm dating myself, but before I move, I'm going to give you a, uh, a banana trivia question. First of all, I want to say this. When I was researching bananas, I found out so many interesting things. Here's one. Do you know how you peel your banana and it gets all stringy? Isn't that annoying when you have those banana strings and you're like, what do I do with this? I don't want to eat it. It's kind of weird. And you fling it and it ends up drying on some table you have in your kitchen, maybe. I don't know. If you peel your bananas upside down, you don't have the strings. That's what I read. Now, we should try that. I heard if you turn your banana upside down and peel from the bottom up, you don't have the strings. Also, you thought banana peels were not good. You thought they were unappealing. Okay, sorry about that. You thought they made you slip on the floor and hurt yourself. That is not true. Banana peels are magical. The banana oil, apparently, if you rub it on a scrape or a burn or a mosquito bite, it'll stop your bite from getting more inflamed, more infective, it'll stop itching. And I read, and I don't know if it's true, if you have a wart, you don't have to tell me you have a wart. If you have a secret wart, they say, or a not so secret wart, I don't know. They say if you rub the banana, the inside of a banana peel on your wart, it could disappear in as little as two weeks. Can you believe that? That's a lot. <laughs> it's a, wait, what's a lot? Do you, <laughs> what do you? <laughs> oh, I believe it. Okay, so I have my, I am just full of information. Wait, I didn't even get to the trivia question. <laughs> the trivia question is, how many bananas, all right, so Americans eat a lot of bananas. How many pounds of bananas does the average American eat per year? I'm gonna tell you this, people from Ecuador eat a heck of a lot more bananas than we do. I don't know how that's gonna help you answer the question, but it is what it is. So now this is, that's in our bullet. This is our three ounces of water with the coffee, with the coffee made with the sweetener, with the xanthan gum. Next, we want to use um, a little caramel extract. So this is Watkins caramel extract. A lot of people make it. We might be linking to the ingredients today. I hope we are. We're going to oh, use, we oh, we are, quarter teaspoon of this caramel extract. It smells so yum, and I love it. And the other little tip I wanted to say, in case you really want to amp up the banana flavor, because um, if this doesn't taste as banana-y as you really want, you could use banana extract. So let's say you also want to add some protein powder, which is also going to dilute the flavor. You might want to amp up the banana extract or add banana extract because there's no officially banana extract in this recipe. But this is a good thing we're going to link you to also. And this also does not taste like fake banana. It smells a little like fake banana, but I used it and it definitely does not taste like fake banana. But it's also good because, Jamie, I want to say one thing. You know, when we use bananas, we don't overdo it. So this is, the amount of banana we use in this recipe is a half of a banana, it's a third of a cup, it's a half of a medium banana, and this was frozen in my freezer. So what I like to do when my bananas get kind of too ripe, I cut them up and I freeze them and I use them in drinks like this. And the texture of banana when it freezes is really incredible for your shakes and drinks. But when you go to like a smoothie shop, sometimes they'll put two bananas in your smoothie. And that just adds a lot of sugar and a lot of calories. And like I hear all the time from people who say, oh, I have one of those machines that I can make a banana dessert by just putting two bananas and two tablespoons of peanut butter. And before you know it, you have like as many calories as you get at like an ice cream shop. So my point here is that you can get the benefits of the texture and the flavor of the banana by using a half of a medium banana, which is what I have done in this recipe. Okay, next up. <laughs> Is anybody answering the trivia question? Yes, we have a range of answers. 3,000 pounds of bananas, 30 pounds of bananas. Per person, 3,000 pounds of bananas. That person, I don't know. That's, I would say, there are no bad guesses, but that was really not a good guess. Um, it's 27 pounds per person of bananas, but in Ecuador, they eat 218 pounds of bananas per person. That's like crazy. They love, they're crazy for bananas over there. All right, so this is four ounces of my banana almond breeze, which is a yumalicious ingredient. And it's also kind of thick and sweet. So it makes everything taste incredible. And now we also need some ice. So here's my cup. We need a cup and a half of ice. Now, are we linking to that fancy pellet ice maker? Oh yeah. Okay, I have pellet ice in my house. 
Oh, the pinned Amazon, the old pinned Amazon store. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use a cup and a half of ice. I might have overdone it on the ice today, but hopefully not. Um, all right, before I blend this, we want one other trivia question. Let's see, I have a bunch. Um, okay, more what have been written about bananas than any other fruit? What type of item has been written the most about bananas more than any other fruit? You could get this one, I have faith in you. All right, here's my bullet, my Nutra bullet. <laughs> Like, look, if you want, like, want a strong coffee drink, this is more like a latte kind of thing. You could add a full tablespoon of coffee. You can mix and match all day long with these recipes. The texture of that is just gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh! I'm gonna be drink. this is like, I'm gonna be drinking this whole thing. I have to remember to take a photo of it before it goes. And it smells banana-licious. Okay, and now optional, of course, but I am opting to use my Trader Joe's Coconut Whip Topping. It's like a fantastic product in case you don't know it. Look at that. I love the sound it makes. All right, and I am going to choose to use, gosh, do I have any cinnamon around here? I bet I do. Where's my cinnamon? I thought I had it. Ah, here it is. I have my little canister of cinnamon. I'm just doing that because it's optional. If you have like a drizzle of caramel sauce, that's also incredible with this, but I don't know, I'm opting to not use that. And there it is. You want me to try it? Even if you know what I'm doing it. <laughs> Perfect. To me, this is the ideal amount of banana. Doesn't need any more banana. The texture is perfect. The banana works so well with the coffee. I like it with this amount of coffee. It's just perfectly balanced and creamy and frozen and delicious. And even if you think you don't like bananas or I think if you don't like bananas and you don't like coffee, you might actually like them together. Is that weird? <laughs> Maybe I just overstated something. Okay. Did anybody answer the question? Yes, I feel like there's three that are the running answers. Is okay. Joke, recipes, or sauce? Good, you know what, it's, it might be jokes also, but the answer is songs. There are more songs written about bananas than any other fruit, which is interesting. Would you sing one for us? I don't, uh, I don't even know any. Do you? I know the Chiquita banana song, but I'm not gonna sing it, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ask one more question and then we're gonna just chat for a little while. What percentage of the weight of a banana comes from water? What percentage of the weight of a banana comes from water, do you know? But if you like this recipe in the meantime, please share this with your friends because they will love you even more than they love you now, truly. And you should sign up for the daily emails and you should share this recipe. Jamie, do you think they should share this recipe? Absolutely. Okay, good. And if you wanna find the recipe in case you didn't write it down, which I wouldn't blame you for, you go to hungry-girl.com slash live there you will find this recipe and all the recipes that I do live on Facebook. Let's see what people are saying today. They're saying banana looks delicious. I love all your recipes. Oh, the banana boat song. I don't even know the banana boat song. Do you? Is that like the commercial? Like, like, the, ban like the banana boat, like yeah. suntan lotion? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna recap the ingredients. If I forget any, Jamie, please let me know because okay. I don't want to. But this was made with a couple of teaspoons of instant coffee, one sweetener packet, mine has been ripped and used already, two teaspoons of this lovely French vanilla sugar-free coffee mate, quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum, which I dissolved in three ounces of water. I used a quarter teaspoon of caramel extract, then four ounces of this must-have ingredient that you should find and buy immediately. This is the banana almond breeze. A cup and a half of ice in a blender, and then yum, right? That's everything. I forgot the most important ingredient. I did the 
What? The banana. Oh, the banana. Duh! Half a banana. I didn't forget the banana. I used the banana so I can't show it to you. But I can show you the bag that it was in. And again, when your bananas get too ripe, you want to uh, save them and spare them by using them to bake or cut them into little coins and freeze a half a banana at a time in a little snack bag. And it works perfectly. I think that about covers it. Honestly, guys, if, if you missed me talking about these earlier in the uh, broadcast, this is a, a fantastic Pringle swap, for lack of a better way to describe them. This is a potato chip that I've become obsessed with. They were the sponsor in today's email, but I also eat them practically every day. They're incredible, and you can go to thegoodcrispcompany.com, use keyword hungry, and you'll get 50% off your order. That's a lot, like 50%. That's half. <laughs> you can buy twice as many for the same price. <laughs> and you are gonna be winning this tonight, possibly, or these measuring spoons. So just by interacting, these are the two prizes of tonight. All right, any other questions? Tell us the water percentage of bananas. Ah, the water percentage, of, wait, what's the guess? 70, 25, they're all over the place. Someone said I didn't know bananas had water. They, well, they're seven, the weight is 75% water, believe it or not. Wow. 75, wow. and it says, what's on the menu tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow night I am making something that I think is incredible and fun and cute. I'm using my air fryer. I am making PB and Jagel bites. I don't know if you like the name. I don't think Jamie likes the name. I like the name. I, I will say this, I did not come up with the name. My friend came up with the name and I thought it was brilliant. PB and Jagel bites. They are little bagel bites that have peanut butter and jelly involved. And they're not, the peanut butter and jelly is not necessarily in the bagel bite, but wait till you see, you're gonna love them. They are so good and I ate them for breakfast yesterday. So I will be sharing that with you tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Pacific time, and if you're bored and have nothing to do, you should be there, I'll be giving out prizes. In the meantime, please share this recipe with your friends and anybody, even people you don't like that much. They might like banana and coffee together, and it might be a good way to rekindle old friendships, reconnect with family members that you haven't seen in a while. Just share the recipe with them. And sign up for Hungry Girl Daily Emails and uh, listen to our podcast, what else? These are all great ideas. <laughs> They're all great ideas. Um, but that's it. I'm going to leave you now, sadly, or happily. And I will be back tomorrow, so hopefully you'll tune in. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.